Hello students, I welcome you all to this online platform. Uh, in the recently conducted TSPSC examination for Mechanical Engineering AEE post, one question from mechanics uh, is having a scope to be challenged. The question says, what will be the least force that will move a body of weight W and which is resting on a horizontal plane if the angle of friction is given as X? The angle of friction is given as X. Now the question over here is, the body is resting on a horizontal plane, we need to find out least force. Angle of friction is x, the weight is w. Let us construct a small diagram. Let us say, this is a horizontal surface we are having. The block w is over here. We will consider this body to be a particle because dimensions are not provided. Now we wish to, we want to identify over here least force. You see, he has not mentioned over here regarding the force being in a particular direction. They did not say whether it has to be a horizontal one or anything. They have just mentioned least force. So let us draw the free body diagram of this body. Suppose, since the body is a particle for us, we can consider something like this. The force W is coming down. Now, if I am pulling it towards the right, I realize that normal will come up and the limiting friction will come in the left hand side direction. I can convert normal and limiting friction both into a single force resultant. And this resultant is supposed to have an angle of x with respect to the normal. That means my resultant of normal and friction is going to come something like this. Such that if I measure this angle, this angle will come out to be equal to x. Now I wish to find out the force. Let us consider a force at any random angle. Let us say the force is some force P. P is at some random angle. Okay, P is at some random angle over here. But P has to be minimum. Now look at these angles over here. The other angles we are having are this angle is equal to 180 degrees minus x. Now this is some angle. Let us say alpha. This is some angle. Let us say beta. Now, if I use over here Lamy's theorem, what do I get? I get over here P upon sine of P upon sine of 180 degrees minus x is equal to W upon sine of alpha. W upon sine of alpha. If I wish to minimize the value of P over here, the only way is to maximize. See, this is defined. This is predefined. W is predefined. Alpha is something which is a variable in our hand. If I want to minimize the value of P, I have to maximize the value of sine alpha. And what is the maximum value of sine alpha? The value of sine alpha's maximum value would be 1. That way, I can say this alpha has to become equal to 90 degrees and the value of P minimum will be equal to W sine of 180 minus x. Sine of 180 minus x should be equal to sine x. This implies the value of P minimum, the value of P minimum will be equal to W sin x, W sin x. The correct answer therefore is option A over here. But what TSPSC has done is, they have given the correct answer is option D. Now let me also tell you what probably they have thought to give answer D as correct. They probably have taken the force P to be only in horizontal direction. Now that is what can, can be challenged now because nowhere in this question the force is being considered in the horizontal direction. The only condition for the force is it has to be least force. So it is in our hands to decide the direction of force. So going by that we can say the correct answer is option A while TSPSC has given this as answer. Therefore this can be challenged and we can claim this to be our correct answer. I hope rest of the questions were clear to you and all the best to all of you. Thank you.